Ghostbusters Afterlife is finally here. The direct sequel to the originals from 1984 and 1989 is packed with fan nostalgia, plus a fresh perspective for a new generation. There hasn't been a ghost sighting in 30 years. New York in the 80s? It's like The Walking Dead. My grandfather died. My mom says we're just here to pick through the rubble of his life. A gunner seat? I'm so excited to see all the Ghostbusters back together. What was it like for you to be back on set with everybody? You know, it's uh, it was like a spiritual experience. I mean, this movie's been such a big part of my life for so many years. And seeing Bill and Danny and Sigourney and Annie and this new cast that's amazing, Paul Rudd. It's, uh, it was just really very, very special. Congratulations. What was it about this script that got you to come back? Well, I thought it was, uh, you know, it had a heart to it. This, this, this script had a heart to it. And uh, the director is the son of the original director, of course, and he felt he there was a story that needed to be told because he knew all of us. You know, he knew the history of it. And uh, he'd had that vision for a long time. He said, you know, I've been wanting to write this story for a long time. What do you think? And... We all like it, so there we go. Well, it's wonderful. You see, you've already seen it? I have. It's so good. Now, is it intimidating to join such a mega franchise? Of course, because people are so passionate about it, and you know that they want they want it to be so perfect, and, and you don't want to screw that up. <laughs> so, yeah, it's very intimidating. Well, you did not at all. Thank you very much. What was it like playing opposite the sexiest man alive? Well, I'd like to point out that he wasn't the sexiest man alive then, so, so it wasn't as overwhelming. Now, yeah. last time we saw each other, you were not the sexiest man alive how has life changed since you've gotten this title i know it was only a couple of weeks ago oh, how, things how did i get so much sexier <laughs> what was it like being on set with all of the original ghostbusters amazing yeah you know for somebody like me some kind of young pimply kid who just wow i, I love comedy and like, those are my heroes to even you know breathe the air that they're like it's it's so nuts so how much of your character did you pay tribute to the late Harold Ramis I mean obviously the entire character is, is very much a tribute to Harold but it's really cool to be able to create uh, our own and I I obviously wanted to kind of not mirror but be heavily inspired by his character at the same time I didn't want to copy you know I, I wanted to create something new that was very reminiscent of his character which I I, I hope I did, did. It was thank you so much done. who is your favorite ghost of all the ghosts I think the marshmallow man it was Danny Aykroyd's original idea and from the very first screening it tore the audience apart and I said oh thank god <laughs> it worked <laughs> oh well I love the marshmallow yeah. man yes Fiona was the marshmallow man um, two years ago for Halloween so a little soft spot in my heart for the marshmallow man goes I love the marshmallow man who doesn't I mean you're scared of him you just want to hug him you're I'm feeling very much like him right now no! Awesome. Thank you. That's wonderful. <laughs> Ghostbusters Afterlife is exclusively in theaters November 19th.